because she's not offended about a black man not wanting to put on a dress or put on eyeliner or, you know, walk down the street without switching or rolling his neck. You know what I mean? So we just really, we're living in a times where we really got our priorities mixed up. It's like we want all this inclusion, but then we don't want to, we fall short on the most basic. Like in America, it says freedom and justice for all. It says it, it says freedom and justice for all. This is what we base our entire um, livelihood in America. This is supposedly why all these immigrants come to uh, the American shores. Freedom and justice for all. Everybody gets a free turn. That's what they say. Everybody gets a free turn. Except certain people. Like, how can it be freedom and justice for all if I don't have none? And it seems like all is getting everything except me. And I built it. Like they just now this year passed the anti-lynching bill. This year, 2022. Just this year. But some random Caucasian man killed a whole bunch of Asians immediately. They passed legislation, you know, anti um, don't kill Asian people. You're not supposed to kill nobody anyway, but you see what I'm saying? The lack of urgency when it comes to a group of people. We've been getting lynched since America's inception. But every time we have an issue, you know there's a lack of urgency. All right, so I said I didn't want to turn this into a rant. This was a live edition, and I'm kind of ranting right now, which is what I don't want to do. My overall point was I felt, you know, what Tashina Arnold was saying, what can we do to stop the emasculation of the black man, especially being in the entertainment industry, like all this pressure is put on black men to wear dresses, to, you know, act like a woman, to be feminized. And it's just not fair and it's just not right. And what's also not fair and not right is a sister, when the sister speaks up for a brother, then she is like she's raked through the codes like why can't you stand up for a black man like why is they got to get ridiculed for standing up for your brother and vice versa when a black man stands up for a sister like that that's the new one they call a uh, black man stand up for a sister a simp oh he's just trying to get some some coochie he's just trying to get some coochie he's trying to brown nose with him Trying to get that cookie. Like, and my whole thing is, they are somebody's auntie, somebody's mother, somebody's little cousin. Like, all of them, no matter, regardless what they do in the bedroom. You don't want somebody talking to your mom, your auntie, your grandmother in a certain way. So, like... Why, why am I a simp? Because I want you to treat a sister like nice. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. We just like 
so much is just like we got so many things backwards. It's like everybody's getting their rights before we getting our rights. Like we can sit up there and walk out of classrooms in protest of you know, a boy being able to wear a dress, but we can't get offended by a boy getting killed or roughed up by a police officer. Like, I don't, we don't, we don't have that same energy. So that's my time. That's all the articles I wanted to uh, share with you guys today. Um, I guess it's plug time now, so download this episode and all previous episodes of the Narrative Podcast. Um, I got I do daily poems every single day. I missed yesterday, but I have a, a poem later on today posted on my poetry blog, Halsey's Poetry Corner, at www.mrhalseysblogs.com. My tagline, Poetry with a Passion, Poetry for All Occasions. So support that. Just visit the link, comment on the poems, or just follow Halsey's Poetry Corner if you don't want to leave a comment and share my poems on your platforms. That'll help with the algorithm. So that's my time. I'm getting up out of here. Um, This has been a live edition of the Narrative Podcast. Halsey Allen signing off. Thank you guys so much. See you guys this weekend with a full edition of the Narrative Podcast. Thanks. Bye-bye.